Face masks are flying off the shelves as concerns over catching the coronavirus grow. And many of us can't help but wonder, should I pop one on when I head outside? Just to be on the safe side. So what do you think? Should you wear a mask to protect yourself from getting sick? What do you guys mm -hmm. think? Well, I think you got to find out first if it's effective or not, because I think you can, you can do all the things you want to do, but if they don't work, uh, is it worth doing? We know that shares, we were just talking with Paige Ellis from Vienna and Bloomberg, we know shares and companies that sell these face masks masks have gone up because people are buying them so frequently. <clears throat> Here's the thing, we've had doctors on our show uh, last week and this week talking about the ineffectiveness of these masks. They're really good if you are currently experiencing symptoms mm -hmm. at catching all of the stuff that flies out of your yep. mouth when you cough. They do that for sure. But are you using the mask effectively if you're wearing it? Are you reaching your hand under the mask to scratch your nose? Are you eating any food under that mask? Because if you are, you're actually contaminating the mask and dropping the effectiveness. I think that this whole thing, we've talked a lot about this on the social as well, and I do not want to minimize how serious this is, certainly for certain parts of the world, but we have to listen to our medical professionals yes. who are saying that overall for Canadians, the risk is low. Mm -hmm. And so if you are reaching around trying to find masks because you think it makes you safer, are you forgetting the stuff that truly shows yeah. to be effective? Washing your hands yeah. frequently. It's real simple. Yeah. You know what might be more effective for some people than a mask, if, especially if you're not using it right? The things that the kids are getting taught in school. And I sneeze in my house and my daughter says, mommy, sneeze into your elbow. And that yeah. kind of stuff might actually yeah. be more the, effective. The so vampire, the vampire. We call yeah. it, don't yeah. get distracted by yeah. stuff that no. might not actually and work. We you know, call so it germ jail in yeah. my house. So you'd like, and you germ got it. Jail. Germ jail. Yeah. Catch it in the germ so, jail. And here's the trick with it too. You can't do it into your hand because then you've just put all the gross stuff on your hand. You got to get right into your elbow and really trap it in there and you can tell the difference you can hear the sound difference you also like you said wash your hands and you're washing not just like quick 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 getting the soap on sing through the alphabet twice i know it feels ridiculous but honestly it sing works. through the alphabet twice that seems yeah. like a it's seems... a long time you also want <laughs> here's the other thing too my mom is a nurse so i grew yeah. up uh, get, we, we talked a lot about hand washing so you wash your hands <laughs> but you're not just washing your hands you're also washing up your arm so pull off your it on those medical yes. shows. as well take sure. off anything you have on and you start washing all the way up your arms. Seriously, oh, uh, that's what works, uh, right? Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm walking much? around this office with my sleeves down here all day long. Right. So you want me to then roll up the sleeves that have been in no contact with anything but the What's shirt all day? What's on your sleeves, day? though, Ben? Your hands. Stuff could be on your sleeves. But but I wash sure. my hands maybe 10 times a day. That's like, good. 10 times a right. day. And I am not often. washing myself up to the elbows. I'm just not doing it. Fair, but you also get sick through the winter. I'm not saying it prevents everything, but there are things you can do. Yeah. We also know that sanitizer works. There are a couple different brands mm -hmm. you can buy. If you're really concerned, another great option that you can do is, um, instead of just going to like a, a local drugstore, those um, home care stores uh, also sell medical grade supplies. And if you're really concerned, you can talk to a local pharmacist and they can answer your questions yeah. about what specifically will work for and you. And if there you are, are gonna wear a mask, put it on, at the very least, wear it properly. You were telling me that yes. so many people don't know how to wear these. My my husband's in construction and in construction for drywall dust, for all kinds of things. My husband buys a very specific high grade yeah. form of masks, but they only last so long. I think a lot of people will take one and they'll wear it for weeks. They'll years. just, they'll just like, spray it with Lysol. What, guys? It's done. It's yeah. done. And I don't know how the lifespan of every single one, but generally speaking, people are not wearing them correctly and are messing them up. But I want to just sort of like a good dose of reality here. The thing that scares me the most is not coronavirus in this part. I'm not in a high-risk area. I'm not traveling to China. I'm not around a lot of people who are traveling back and forth. But my parents are older, and I'm scared of the flu because the flu in this country is something that 3,500 yeah. Canadians a year are dying from. And coronavirus is serious, but the flu, guys, that's already here. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. That's already here. Flu All shot, right. good hand there washing. All right. Uh Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.